Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show and my name is Charles Solero. This is Get It Right. And today we are speaking about a very important topic that uh, I know that you're going to love. It's something that most of us have gone through, some of us are going through and uh, perhaps some will go through. Hi. Welcome to the show. Thank you. It's been long, I don't know, it's been long since we, we saw each other. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everything is good. How are you feeling? Awesome. I'm glad you're here, and thank, thank you. you for making it uh, to this show. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Debbie is here with us. And, and Debbie, I want these guys to get to know you. Please. Ebu wambiwe ni nani? Unafanya nini? Na kwa nini uko hapa leo? Go ahead. Okay, uh, so I'm Debbie. Uh, people call me Debbie, Deb, Deborah, Baby, Baby. <laughs> <laughs> you can call me all that, but Baby is restricted, okay? Uh, okay. I'm a student, mm -hmm. uh, final year, doing nutrition and dietetics, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm a born again Christian. Mm -hmm. That is one thing that I'm proud of, mm -hmm. and uh, it's good to be in that place. It's mm. an awesome place to be. Katika hiyo harakati. Ndiyo, ndiyo. Aha, aha. Yeah, and I'm glad to be here. Yeah, it's a, it's a privilege actually. Don't welcome. take it for granted. You're welcome. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you very much for coming. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we are discussing about something that's very important and I'm now dropping it. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, today we are talking about when love hurts. And we're talking about love affairs right now. Okay, now Debbie. Yeah. Love is a very important aspect in life. Mm -hmm. And uh, today we're not just talking about, I know there are other forms of love or maybe other kinds of love, like the one that uh, the brotherly love and all that. But today we're talking about eros, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, the love that's between a woman and a man. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. Romantic stuffs. All right. So, of late, I've been having issues or maybe I've been I've been talking to some guys about love issues and all that. Mm -hmm. And actually there are some people always tell me that they don't believe in love. Mm -hmm. So in the first when we are talking about when we're discussing about when love hurts, we, we really have to understand some of these things. That first, do you believe in do, do you think that it's good to believe in love like does love exist? Of course, yes. Love exists. Hey. 100%. <laughs> <laughs> I uh -huh. agree it exists because um the reason I'll say that love exists, it's because every single day we experience people that love us. And mm -hmm. it starts at a particular point. It's not something that just evolves. Uh -huh. So love exists because every, they say that a single, a journey starts with a single step. Yes. So even to love, mm -hmm. it starts with a single thing. It just takes a point of noticing it and then it erupts. So to me, love exists. It exists. Yeah, it does. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. So love exists. That's what Debbie is telling us today. Love exists. I don't know. There are people who believe that love is just an infusion. It doesn't exist. And uh, today we're getting something new. We're getting it right from Debbie. Now, if love exists, then how do you know that someone loves you? Because uh, to some extent, some, some people say that love is not just about the words you speak. Mm -hmm. uh, some people say it's, it's about... Uh, how someone reacts about actions and words and all that. So, uh, uh, can, can we just get it right from you? Like, how do you know that someone loves you? Because there's that kind of people, uh, there are those kind of people that they love you genuinely, but those people who won't actually love you, they'll just be pretending, you know? Uh, actually, <clears throat> getting it right from the place of whereby you say that it starts from a, it, it starts from a particular place. And uh, loving, loving people, let me now just talk about love generally. Yes. Loving people is a must. When you come to the place of understanding that love is not something that uh, you choose to do, but it's something that it's supposed to come out of you. Like, oh it just my. has to come out. You don't have to force it. Oh my. Because at the end of the day, now I'm talking as a, as a basis, like a Christian. Yes. We say that God is love and we are born of love, right? Yeah, yeah, right? So if God is love and we are born of love, then love has to be us because we are born of God. Uh -huh. That is something that is automatically in us. Uh -huh. But now the different dimensions take mm -hmm. place whereby with how you relate with one another. In the first point when I meet you, I'll have to love you because I am born of God and God is love. Mm -hmm. But now as time goes by when I am starting to know you, I will either choose whether to love you as phileo, as a friend, or rather I'll choose to love you in the Eros kind of way because there are dimensions we have reached with you. Uh -huh. 
Are you getting me? I'm getting you. Yeah. So Loud and clear. <laughs> it exists and um it depends. It depends on how you relate with, with somebody. It depends on how deep you can go. You choose to love people because probably they have given you a shoulder to lean on. Uh-huh. Probably they have been of help in one way or another. Probably their family, you know. Yeah. But when it gets to Eros kind of love, it takes a deeper thing than just a friend, than uh-huh. just a confidant. Uh-huh. It takes a different angle than just a mentor or a... You know, it takes it takes a lot of things. I would love Chalo as a as my boyfriend ah, because I maybe you. You know, my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> because basically maybe i feel free and i feel awesome when i just talk to you i okay. feel like i can share with you my troubles my pain my joy yeah. and every other thing yeah, sure. and maybe that is just the only thing that i need to feel like uh, i'm at home uh-huh. yes so how about those ladies or maybe those men that to them the only way they can feel loved is when uh, when they feel they're, 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 they're kind of pumped with uh, resources, uh, sorry, in, in this matter, I mean money and all that, that to some extent the people say that there's, there's no love without money. Uh-huh. I agree to disagree. <clears throat> okay. Reason being, <laughs> hey. uh, no love all, without money. No, I've said I agree to disagree. Hey. Yeah. Meaning uh-huh. that at some point I'll agree, but at some point I'll disagree. Okay. When you base your love in the fact of resources and materials, mm. number one, remember that these are things that uh, at some point they get lost. Of course, of course, yes. So it means that if uh, my husband or my boyfriend doesn't mm. have cash at one point in time, I will leave him because I builded up my love on... That gender. That is so bad. <laughs> <laughs> but at the end of the day, that is my point to disagree, that mm. love is not all based on resources. Uh-huh. I don't have to date a guy who lives in uh, Runda or Langata to be taking me in TRM or any other fancy place. Mm. But I can date this guy who lives in the slum and he will take me, go eat Chapo Madondo. But at the end of the day, we eat it with freedom, we eat it with confidence, we eat it with the... Because there is something greater that has binded us. It is mm. not all about cash. Yes. It is, um, it is a place whereby this is what he can afford. Yeah. So this is what I will go with. Uh-huh. You know, and as time goes by, you see, uh, I, I always believe that uh, when I meet a guy or when a guy meets me, uh, our destinies lies to each other. Mm-hmm. So however much they don't have the cash right now, okay. I believe it is our responsibility to work together to get what we have. Mm-hmm. So, so I had this idea, there's a boy child mm. that gave me a very interesting story. Uh, let's just try and get into his shoes, okay? okay. So this guy, Ameacho Nademiake, Mm-hmm. So this kind of person, uh, how, how can we try and help him? How can we, uh, how, how can we just figure out something that in Azamfanya to live? Because this guy is hurt. Okay. Number one, mm-hmm. I will tell this guy that uh, he has to know that not everyone will be meant to respond to what you give. Mm-hmm. You, if you're a boy, if you're a grown man, <laughs> 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 you have to realize, number uh-huh. one, uh-huh. that it's not a must for somebody to love you. When you approach a lady, they either say yes or say no. So may, maybe this lady will she... say yes, no. Yes, no. Okay. Uh, then it's your responsibility to know where they lie. Is it a yes or a no? Mm-hmm. Based on how you treat them. If it's a yes and a no and you love that person, you really want to be with them. You'll have to know, you'll have to get their stand. Whether they're in for it or they're not in for it. Unless you're a joker. Unless you're dating for fun. Oh my goodness. But if you're dating for, for serious things, like if you're dating for marriage, I don't expect a full grown man to be sitting with a lady who is not yet decided whether they are in or not. So you oh have to be a man goodness. enough and ask and, and gain confidence and ask them, are you for this? Is it a yes? Yes, we do this. If it's a no, fine. I take up my, pull up myself and uh, take life as it is and move on. And I believe love will find me one day. Oh my goodness. So how about this situation? It makes me just want to say something that I'm just thinking about right now. You've been dating someone for the longest time ever, let's say four years or five years, right? Mm. And then this kind of a person, you know, there's this time that you, 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 
uh, you, you really you want to move to the next step after dating. You just want to get engaged uh -huh. and you want to propose. Mm -hmm. And that person says, she's still thinking or he's still thinking. He's still 50-50. That not guy is decided. not serious. You've been with that person <laughs> for that long. And you, you've, you've just had this kind of attachment that is so strong and so real that she or he is everything to you. You can't just say like, I'm packing out my things and leaving. It's it's nearly impossible. It's not easy. Okay. It's not, you know. And then they tell her they are 50-50. They still have to think. And time is moving so fast. Okay, at some point it does happen. Even people get in marriage and they still, after 10 years, people divorce. Yeah. Yeah, okay. you've heard of that. But as I started saying that, uh, I will go back to what I said first. Mm -hmm. That love starts at a particular point. The reason why we have uh, a lot of divorces, basically, or mm -hmm. a lot of uh, breakups after a long period of time is that people have not really understood the basis of where love came from. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I will take us back. The genesis of love is God. I will forever build everything on that. Mm -hmm. So there is no good reason why I should... Uh, when, when you talk about, you know, when you talk at a place of love, number one, there are, there are basic things that have to be just laid forth. Trust issues. Yes, yes, of course. And uh, accountability and uh, a lot of things. But above it all, I believe that trust is one thing that builds up a relationship. Yes. So if uh, we have been with you for four years and you have been seeing things that will probably... Number one, if you tell me you're 50-50, if you have been with you for five years or four years... I would ask you, why are you 50-50? Mm -hmm. Why are you not sure? Mm -hmm. Why? What have you not learned from me? You know, yeah. What is it that you have not gotten right? Mm -hmm. And if you tell me what is it, when did you, not, when did you realize that this was here? Mm -hmm. If it is a long time ago, then I'll have a problem with you because you have not been honest with me. Yeah, sure. Yeah, mm -hmm. but if we have reached a place of we are going to the next step, I believe that honesty is one thing very true so if you see a problem with me we have dated with you for a very long period and uh i see that cello has this character that i don't like yeah it is my responsibility to, to tell, tell you exactly you know and yeah. you build up on that uh -huh. yeah so you don't have to tell me you're 50 50 because of something you've realized like long time ago and you've not been working on it uh -huh. if you don't tell me to work on it who do you expect at anyambia oh my goodness when love hurts hashtag let's get it right we are going on with this very nice topic, this very interesting conversation. And uh, Debbie, this yeah. conversation is getting interesting. Mm. And uh, I, I, I just believe that Leo <laughs> Mutata Saidika. Yes, because it really hurts. I, I don't want to talk about my personal life because today it's not just about me. Today it's about someone who's going through this process, this stage of life that's very crucial. Of course, we have to get heartbroken sometimes so that we get to learn of how to face the future. Yeah, we right? have to. Yes, we have to. We have to, right. And grow up. And grow up, <laughs> of course. As you want to grow up. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's very true. So actually, uh, when someone is heartbroken, they're totally broken. Because I believe that love is something that, it's so sweet. It's like poison, sweet poison, right? Mm -hmm. But when you take it, this is how it affects your system. You get used to it in a certain manner, a certain way. Uh, it becomes a, a very deadly poison. And we've seen very many people in uh, social media or in, in real life doing crazy things because of love. Some wana jinyonga na tissue. You know, and sort of okay. kind of things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what do you think? I, w I just want us to get it right, like some deeper dimensions of how individuals react towards, uh, uh, sorry, when they are heartbroken, when they are broken. Why do you think that people always behave in certain ways uh, when they are heartbroken? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason I can say is that uh, our intentions or our expectations when we get into that relationship mm. Because at times we get into relationships and our expectations are too high than what our... our what to are ambitious. Yeah, like what... what uh, I'm, I'm so over-expectant about what I want than what he can give. Yeah. 
you know so when they get into this relationship and he's not able to meet my expectations i go up messed up you know yes. maybe i expected him to do some certain things my way because i feel that that is the best way he can do it for me mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. but he is not able to raise into that standard so yeah. i end up getting hurt because my expectations are not met uh-huh. but the moment you sit down and uh, you get to reason together i will advise that uh, when i start a relationship with somebody get to sit down and uh, get to know that where are we going you know after one year what do we expect mm-hmm. both of us and yeah. are you comfortable with these expectations mm-hmm. like are you are you free with how we are doing things this way? Mm. But the moment that kill him say I expectations, Zake, sweetie, you're gonna get hurt because yeah. very bad, like so bad. Kama lori kwanguka, lori Yeah, because I will be expecting you to give me the universe, and you cannot give me the world. You cannot. Yeah, yeah. You sure. cannot even give me Kenya itself. Mm-hmm. You know, so I, I I'll be I will be like putting her hopes too high and. Uh, I end up getting messed up because of my expectations. Uh-huh. Number two, yes. I will say the intentions when mm-hmm. you're. What are your intentions in this in this relationship? Yeah. Most of us, when we get into relationships, our intentions are. Maybe I I I am at the age of getting married, mm-hmm. and I'm so in a hurry that man, I really need to get married like now. You like know, yesterday. Like yesterday. <laughs> Brother, you look so happy. You get up to my family. You know, and and uh, because the intentions are wrong, mm-hmm. you will get up ending hurt because maybe with this person that you're in into is not ready for such a particular things. Mm-hmm. Marriage things are things that we are supposed to be talking about and agreeing. You know, yeah. but because your intentions are just so different with what we are supposed to be building on this in this relationship, mm-hmm. you end up not in line Crushed. with what. So that is just it. Like in this gender. Anyway, it's been trending. This gender. Which gender? This gender. Which one? <laughs> this gender. So when you when when someone is hurt, someone out there, you know, there's someone out there who is definitely hurt. And maybe is watching the is watching this show. Not washing dishes. <laughs> watching this show. To be scared. Producer cut you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and maybe there's someone out there who is really going through this kind of a hard ordeal. Of course, I believe there's still hope. Yeah, there is. There is hope. What you are Musha Maisha? Brother. I know it hurts, but at the end of the day, I, I said you have to grow up. Yeah. It's not the end of the world. Uh-huh. It's not that men are Wameisha. It's not that women are Wameisha. Uh-huh. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. In fact, for men, the Bible says that one man will marry seven. Seven wives will want to hang on you. Why are you stressed, my friend? Okay, let me be serious anyway. What I mean is that when you get hurt, you don't really have to quit on everything because it's not the end of the world. Okay. And it doesn't mean that if one person has failed to respond to your love, you'll not get other people to respond to it. Everything happens with the plan of God. Maybe God had already foreseen that it is not the perfect match for you. Mm-hmm. So, there is always hope. Okay. There is, I believe. Okay, Thank moving you. on. Uh-huh. Thank you. Oh! I can't even chicken and go most your rice. Yeah, it is. So, there's still a big hope. There is. There is. Now, times go to the minutes, na kuanga za jokes. Maybe I'm staying up here, you go serious, kind of watch. But, what do you mean? Either or. Whether yeah, that yeah. person is serious or is joking, that's the end of it. But at the end of the day, you don't see people who wanna wanna China, but they will still come back together and just. It depends on the basis of where you started your love from. Mm-hmm. That is just all. When you understand the genesis of your love, then things will wouldn't really get. So when or when love hurts, as in, when when you when, when some guys let's say that they're broken up. Mm-hmm. So what's the next step? That they're broken up. There's no going back again. Okay. Should someone move on? Yeah, you should. How quick? How soon? It depends with your heart. Kuna wale watu ni wameka kwa relationships nyingi ni wa break up by kesho. My pros. By kesho. Oh my goodness. By kesho I shall move on. So it depends with the how you are. Ila nikumbusha ile song ya Beyonce. Don't think you are irreplaceable. You can be replaced immediately. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Anything received can be rejected. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that healing process 
you know okay in as much as uh, in as much as it differs uh, depending on individuals but i believe that every single person needs that process of healing yeah every single person does yeah it's important yes and 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 and, and of course there's this one important aspect that we must not forget bitterness mm -hmm. tell us how, how 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 can one solve this bitterness because bitterness with heartbreaks most of the times zinakwagapamoja okay so number one you have to come to a place of knowing that uh, you 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 are more important than okay this will sound negative at some point bring it up <laughs> come on nimbaya nimbaya but at the end of the day you have to understand that you are the best out of the best yeah so if Chalo will leave me to go for another hot cake or another rangiathao, I, I believe that I am, I am, I am so hot or I'm, I'm better than that other person. You know, I will, I love to bring myself to a place of whereby you left me and when you left me, you left the best. You know, I will have to think good of myself. Wow. I will have to think that uh, out of every other lady, I still stand out. That's so powerful. And because you left me doesn't make me any less. And that uh, doesn't make me any... I nifanyi kuwa kidogo ya jeans you live in here. But it makes me grow brighter and brighter. You know? It yeah. makes me glow every single day. Wow. Yeah. Get it, it right. Get it right. Get it right. Knowing that right. I am single. Hey, I'm friend. <laughs> Keep the conversation going on our social media platforms. Hashtag let's get it right. This is a very important conversation that we are having right here. And uh, oh my goodness. Those are wonderful words. So finally, conversion of that negative energy from heartbreaks. Okay. Uh, because some 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 always believe or some always prefer vengeance or doing hurting the other person doing uh, posting stuff so when when you go on a post is of it una post ya you even take photo you lipiga na crush wako some years ago and that's the moment you want to post it on your status so and be um, say like after all when you're gone i can still replace you but I indeed eh yeah, indeed unaweka picha ya mtu mwenye ako na someone somewhere uh you will never you will never settle out bitterness with vengeance that is number one mm -hmm. the moment you understand that you're better than any other person then you'll get to know your value probably not probably but basically you'll get to know what you're made of and who you are your what and the best thing you can do this is so hard but the best thing you can do is just to love these people wow. most people are because nanga nama ex so you don't talk to them uh-huh you should. Breaking up with them doesn't mean that uh, they are wrong, they are bad. Oh, that's the end of your friendship? No, it doesn't mean that way. It just mm. means that you, you guys didn't reach at a place of complimenting one another. Yeah. So the best thing you can do is just love them. Love them for who they are. Love them with their other spouses if you can. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> no, the genesis of love. That is what I said. When you understand where the genesis of love begins then you will not have a problem with these other things. I don't have a problem with loving people. I love you all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that is just what I can say. The best thing you can do to solve... Let me, let me say this. Uh, how many times do we fall short of the glory of God, mm -hmm. but still he becomes this one good, perfect dad to us? You know, yeah. the, the best thing I can say is that when you relate, the genesis of love is agape. Any kind of love, whether filial, whether eros, it starts from there. Yeah. And so when you understand how God loves us, then you'll have an easy time of understanding how you can love others despite of how wrong they will take you to be. Yeah. Or how wrong they will have wronged you. Mm -hmm. So when they say that uh, it's hard to love your enemies or it's hard to love those that, them that have hurt you, mm -hmm. he that can help you understand that best, it's God. Mm -hmm. So at the place of every heartbreak, at the place of every bitterness, I will best refer you to my best doctor. That is God. Oh my goodness, that's wonderful. That's yeah. amazing. That's amazing, amazing, amazing. This is Get It Right Show. And remember, my name is Charles Solero. And Debbie. Yeah. Thank you so much for this wonderful conversation. You're welcome. I just want you to say something, just your last remarks to someone who's listening out there, someone who is going through this and just needs your word. 
Okay. Uh, number one thing. Kwanza 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 kwanza. Hey, mko tayari kwa sababu sasa hii ni maneno muhimu sana. You take it deep into your heart. Hata inge ndani na vide. Ndani ndani kilindini. Kilindini that's it. Haya. Okay, number one thing to our viewers, you have to know that you're the, when if you're in a heartbreak uh process right now, you're hurting. Number one, know that you're the best. Whether you're a man or a woman, you're the best and you gave your best in that relationship. So mm. it shouldn't hurt you. Number two, love them. Love them and take God as your best example because I will say this, when you understand how often you wrong God but he still loves you, then you'll understand how to love them that hurt you because God is your perfect, perfect example. Mm-hmm. And lastly, yeah. love is the greatest commandment that God gave to us. So... You cannot afford to hate anyone, but you can afford to love everyone. As I said, love is a must. Lazima. Love is a Kama must. Come yeah. yeah, All right. Siku. Thank you very much, Debbie. You're uh, and ladies and gentlemen, we are coming to the end of this show. Thank you so much for uh, being part of this show. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope to meet you in our next episode of Get It Right. My name is Charles Soler. I've been your host, and this is Get It Right Show. Hashtag Let's Get It Right. Thank you. Till next time. Have a good time. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.